a challenging first season for Maurizio Pochettino in the Chelsea hot seat as he tries to return a fallen giant to English football's elite. And it's a challenge that Eric Ten Hag knows all too well, with speculation around his future set to be one of the themes of the running. Meetings between these two sides used to go a long way to deciding the Premier League champions, but now it's a meeting between two clubs who always seem to be just one defeat away from another crisis. And joining me for this clash at Stamford Bridge tonight, Rio Ferdinand and Joe Cole with me, Rio, in the in the Chelsea blue tonight. From head don't, to toe. Don't start, don't start. <laughs> We've already been just after. <laughs> sure. We, we will find out later. So Marcus Rashford, Rio, let's start with that team news on the bench. Anthony coming in. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, look, listen, uh, I think against the big teams, the big six this, this year, the top goal scorers against the big six are both on the bench today. Marcus Rashford steps up. Um, so, uh, listen, it remains. It really is, uh, yeah, Ahmed as well on the on the bench tonight. No changes, Joe, for yeah. Chelsea, though. What what message is Pochettino trying to send there? Tenacity in how we apply ourselves on the pitch. And, and a man we don't know, honestly, you don't know what Chelsea's going to turn up. You don't know what Manchester United's going to turn up. It's, it's one of them games where you're... The problem today, we're both sitting here arguing, having a laugh about who's going to win. You flip a coin. That's your best. In your day, was it though? This was a game that really went a long way to deciding the, the title winners, just as it did, Joe, in, in 2006. Do you want to show them this one again? Well, out of order. Was and hair. Wow. He, he was happened a, obviously to me? never went out in the sun. <laughs> 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 and, and the two teams finished in, in the top two, five out of six seasons as well at that time. But now we've got Chelsea 28 points off the top, Man United 20, Rio. Just, how close are both of them to competing for titles again, do you think? Both teams are a far cry from what we were talking, looking at there. I think if you look at them both teams now, uh, Man United semi-new ownership, obviously Chelsea new ownership here. You're looking at them, it's a rebuild process for both. With Manchester United, if I talk about my club more, it's the, the football side of things operational in that sense. It's a, it's a real kind of, they're, they're looking at it behind the scenes, they're rejigging, they're looking, preparing for next season. Um, but. They need to see something out on the pitch because I think a lot of these players, they must be looking at it thinking we're playing for our careers at Man United now. There's a new regime coming in who don't seem to me like the, 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 the tenacity that Joe was talking about Chelsea are looking for. Man United are in the same boat. OK, well, we're going to hear now from Harry Maguire because he's alongside Jules Breach. Yeah, Harry, it's the final push until the end of the season. And although it has been up and down at times, how confident are you as a group that you can keep pushing to finish in a Champions League place? Yeah, obviously, um, the weekend was disappointing. We didn't put... Harry Maguire there with Jules Breach. And as you can see, Joe Cole has brought a bit of backup in here because <laughs> Wayne, Wayne Bridge is a giant. Well, I'm not enjoying this. I'm wearing a full of having a partner in crime. Yeah. In case it kicks off, I'm not <laughs> partner. We're going to have to separate you two pretty quick, I think. But, but Wayne, lovely to see you. What are your memories of this fixture and, and how fierce the, the battles used to be when you played in them? Oh, they were great there. Oh, I can't oh, remember if Rhea was sat down or <laughs> what happened. But, um, we'll, we'll get yeah, that that, that's probably brilliant. my favourite memory, I, I would have said. Here it is, Wayne. Here it is, here it is. Just involved in, like, you know, when they're out here clapping us out, but then I think we've had to do it for them as well. Do you know what? The Manchester United against Chelsea, and even that got a bit yeah. heated, didn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah but Rio's so, the worst. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the so level of cheating from the Manchester United. <laughs> 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 you know what? We used to play on little PSPs, little yeah. portable yeah. ones, yeah. Yeah. and like Wayne Rooney used to have to bring three or four because he used to smash them. Whenever <laughs> 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 he got killed or beat on the coat, he'd smash it and have to go and get a new one out of his bag. But yeah, the competitiveness between yeah. us, whether it was in training, whether it was on the, in, in the matches here and games like this, or like they say, table tennis, computer games, etc., it was real, real venom between us. Yeah. But that's what made for great games. Yeah, They've both been so inconsistent as well, Wayne. They both need a response from the weekend. Wh which of the two do you think we're going to see win a Premier League title? Look at Chelsea at the moment, and it's just like, you don't know where they start. You know, I think it's going to definitely take them time. There's a lot of inconsistency. You're not, you're not just here tonight as well supporting your old club. You're, you're here yeah. to support a campaign as well, which is between Chelsea and also along with the Samaritans as well. Tell us about that. I basically talk more than football. So hopefully it will make a, a big positive change as well good to see you we're going to get you away from Corley quickly before it all goes terribly wrong but thank you very much Wayne. we're going to take a quick break as well now and this picture
Uh, we've come out, out onto there the pitch. The rain's coming touch down. Is still there. The, the touch the, the is still there. I'm shutting my legs straight away. I knew what was coming. <laughs> the boys desperate <laughs> to get stuck into a warm-up. We talked a lot actually already about the negativity around these two clubs' inconsistency, but there are signs of, of a bright future for both, aren't there? And, and Joe's spoken a lot to me about Cole Palmer. Come the main focus of this team immediately at such a young age for English football that's wonderful to see and another young player that Chelsea have got right Marlo Gusto Joe one who comparatively oh. to, to the other players did not cost them a, a definitely got right yeah absolutely and on the other side we've heard again from, from Rio a lot on Kobe Mainu Joe what, what do you think are his best attributes in that Man United midfield Man uh, United given him that freedom in the games where you will see him popping up in very many different positions over the pitch but he's so comfortable in all of those areas and phases of the game that's what really I think separates them as well as, as well as Rizzo Pochettino boosted a with a gusto. The ball What's almost hit on? me. Sorry, guys. The ball <laughs> almost hit me in the head right there to tell someone. Wait, I can't turn my back for a minute. Look at that. Um, Rusio Pochettino in the press conference, we are really critical of the Chelsea players, saying that they're in their comfort zone, really, they can't be an exhibition team. How, how does he fix that as a manager? Can, can you make players want it more? Well, I, I think he's been. And I'd, 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 I'd appreciate it. He's trying to get a, a bit of a reaction for myself. And I'll make it my, my business to make sure I ram them words right back down his throat. That's got to be the aim of these players today and I'm sure if they've got any people in there with any character or personality they'll be going around that change room telling people we don't get him doing that again. Yeah. Work hard, start right, finish this game. Yeah, it's exactly right. He's just going to get to that stage of the season where he's gone, right, I'm just going to put it on scenes. You know, Paul Wynn, Stanley and Lawrence Stewart are now in charge. So they've got to be the ones now that need to offload... Well, that was a brilliant first half, especially watching with these two. Rio basically sulks for the first half an hour. Joe, it was a perfect start for Chelsea. It was it brilliant? It's the best I've seen us all year. We was on it. Full oh. score many headers as well. That's just his third out of 49. Well, it's been raining goals here at Stamford. Bellingham, when we watch him play, we're like, that's not a 20-year-old. You feel the same with Cole Palmer. He, he, if Rio's right. In a crucial point of the game, how can you let the best player on the pitch have nobody he was just cool as you like it's brilliant but man united fans man united players the changer will be on their knees right now i think um the big big task now is for eric ting hard to get this team back on their feet um we're getting them up getting them back and getting them uh, get the, def the defensive injuries though a mitigating factor because obviously varan went off evans came on evans then had to go off mm. it, and he's it's just such a huge list ipads loaded up with all the information tactics where you got to <clears> stand where you got to be at, um, at set pieces the, the the set piece goal at the end was was it was the killer was the that's the nail in the coffin obviously but and i'm sure did they answer him in bucket loads a tonight a absolutely the character there's, there's always a moment with a team the problem you got joe is that both of these teams have shown glimpses this season at times where oh my this is them now this is them I can see them catching fire and catching form confidence momentum and they have a moment like this May United had it last week you know, a couple of weeks ago in the, in the FA Cup against Liverpool similar circumstances last minute goal but then go to have a game against Brentford and, and that points. was exactly the same team so how yeah. could it be so very different with and, exactly the same team and as, and as happy as um, Pochettino will be and we saw the, 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 him right next to us here going crazy and like he should he'll still I reckon it calms down he'll be scratching his head Why? he needs to find consistency with this team can we get an umbrella please <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> please, for you <laughs> the rain is getting heavier we're all, we're all right it's been, it's been such an amazing match who cares about a Come bit on, of rain oh, yeah. oh, lovely. Yeah, Look at that. I'll hold it for you go on John, I'll hold it for you John, John to the rescue there <laughs> absolutely <laughs> brilliant uh, we're hoping to hear from Maurizio Pochettino as well when he comes out Joe but, but that release of emotion that we saw from him at the end with the fans have you seen that from him here with with, with, with Chelsea that is a no but I love that I haven't seen it because there's nothing that he's been able to grab onto and he's an he's an emotional guy it's your Hello, congratulations you? Okay. we'll just good. get you to put, stand yes. in there in between Joe go on you can get under Joe's brolly as well I'm sure you don't care after <laughs> after that win tonight though Maurizio you must have went through every single emotion possible in that game just trying but was, you have a big risk there that sometimes you can lose players maybe that would question why you're calling us up publicly but you got the right re result here today after no, that I think performance yeah, first senior hat-trick for him. A special win for you as well. I'm sure you'll enjoy tonight, Maurizio. Thank you very much for, no, for you're coming welcome. out. Thank to you. Join us. A pleasure to we appreciate to it. Thank you. Congratulations. You're welcome. <laughs>
A very happy Maurizio Pochettino there. His side now just one point off a potential European place after that dramatic late winner. We're going to take a quick break now and when we come back,